Hi everybody. Welcome to Universe View Odyssey channel. Big Bang began 26.7 billion years ago, not 13.8 billion years ago. It has been suggested that the Big Bang began 26.7 billion years ago, not 13.8 billion years ago. In other words, the age of the universe is almost twice as old as we thought. Rajendra Gupta, an adjunct professor at the University of Ottawa, has found the Big Bang could have taken place astonishingly 26.7 billion years ago. He came to this conclusion by combining the existing expanding universe theory with the tired light hypothesis. Gupta's model solves the impossible early galaxy problem, which has become a hot topic with the recent discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. The youngest galaxies recently discovered by the JWST, highly evolved galaxies only 325 million years after the Big Bang, cannot be explained by current cosmology. How did cosmologists come to calculate the universe's age as 13.8 billion years old? Current estimates for the age of the universe are based on observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, and measurements of the universe's expansion through Hubble's law. CMB is relic radiation from the Big Bang dating back to only 300,000 years after the universe was born. It permeates the universe and is the earliest observable radiation in the universe. Hubble's law was established by astronomer Edwin Hubble in the 1920s. It relates the distances and velocities of galaxies and helps determine the rate of the universe's expansion, called the Hubble constant. By extrapolating this expansion backward, we can estimate the time of the Big Bang. Gupta's new model, described in a paper published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society takes a completely different approach. A theory, known as, tired light, first suggested by physicist Fritz Zwicky in 1929, is adopted to explain the redshift of lights from distant galaxies. In current cosmology, redshift is the stretching of lights caused by the expansion of the universe. The tired light theory proposes that photons gradually lose energy over cosmic distances. Less energy means lower frequency and longer wavelengths, shifting the spectrum of bright, distant objects. Gupta says that, by allowing this theory to coexist with the expanding universe, it becomes possible to reinterpret the redshift as a hybrid phenomenon, rather than purely due to expansion. He starts with two expanding universe models. One is based on standard assumptions about the evenness and flatness of the cosmos, the other introduces some tweaks related to what's known as a coupling constant. The new coupling constants introduced by Gupta change over time, unlike the old coupling constants, which are time independent. These contribute to extending the existence of early galaxies from the first few hundred million years of the cosmos to billions of years, and helps him to conclude the universe may actually be nearly 28 billion years old. Coupling constants describe interactions of forces between particles, such as the way the electromagnetic fields of two protons held in close proximity will affect each other's behavior in specific ways. All forces have a coupling constant that changes with energy and does not have to be constant. This leaves room for coupling constants to vary enough to affect how light behaves. If this constant has changed over time, our calculations of the age of the universe may differ significantly from previous calculations. Our newly devised model extends the galaxy formation time by several billions years, making the universe 26.7 billion years old, and not 13.7 as previously estimated, says Gupta. However, experts don't believe Gupta's theory is going to cause a paradigm shift in cosmology anytime soon. Professor Tamara Davis from the University of Queensland points out that the standard model of cosmology calculated the age of the universe using a combination of various probes and measurements. This includes analyzing data from supernovae, galaxy distribution and measurement of the universe's expansion. Gupta's paper, on the other hand, only considers supernova data which these days is really just a no-no, Davis says. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Gupta's new model, although far from complete, is undeniable in providing us with a new perspective on the Big Bang and our universe. Thanks for watching. You can read this story in Injury Time, injurytime.kr.